So this morning we're filming our latest video for the Hadley TV YouTube channel and we're very, very lucky to have James Cartledge, our local MP here, um, who's taken time out of his very busy schedule to tell us what he loves about Hadley and Suffolk. Yeah, absolutely. So, hi James, thank you very much for finding see, the time. Yeah. Yes, got a cup of tea and some cake on the go, so <laughs> we should be sorted I think. I know you're a really busy man as yep. I say, so thank you so much for coming today and recent promotion as well. We'll yeah, change your um, job, so that's a good thing. Yeah, it's all been very busy now at the Foreign Office, but of course the constituency is what we're here to represent, so this is incredibly important for me and to come out to Hadley. And, uh, and you're local, of course, which is really great. Yeah, I live in Assington, which is kind of halfway between Sudbury and Hadley, so I come to Hadley a lot, and, um, and, and it's, you know, South Suffolk, a beautiful part of the world, really. Yes. So how long have you lived in Assington? Since 2011. Oh, okay. Lived in Essex before then, and born in London. Okay. And you've sit settled in the area? Really? Oh, very much so. We... Um, I must, I mean, to be honest, we were um, in that sort of bracket of people who we were actually living, I mean, it's brought up in London and living in, in Epping in Essex, which is very expensive right, yes. because it's got a tube station, all this sort of stuff, and people with very large cars, and um, we just couldn't afford to buy there. So we started look, looking further into Essex countryside and just sort of almost stumbled over the border into Suffolk and thought, you know, hold on a minute, this is great. And uh, yes, yeah, so I bought this house in Assington. My uh, four children all go to the local schools. Oh, you know, um, so my eldest has just started at Thomas Gainsbury in right. Cornard, okay. and the other three go to Boxford Primary. And Assington's a lovely village. You've got the farm shop there, and yeah, it's pub. got it's got a, it's got a farm shop, it's got a pub, it's got a hairdressers, right. um, and it's got it's got a proper community feel. Um, but like you know, all villages, all rural areas, it has those challenges. Um, and the same with market towns like Hadley, which I, I mean, my, my issue, I want to support your town and, and the villages around us so that they thrive in this era when unfortunately it is ch a challenge to, to have a physical premise and, and be a shop and a business. And I want to support them so that they're successful and they, you know, they, they thrive as businesses um, so they have a prosperous area, but also, you know, we keep our pubs and our, and our shops so that we have strong communities. So home life for you must be really chaotic with four children, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you know it's worse than really chaotic. Yeah. I'd say no. It's well, you know, we love it. I mean, it's uh, it's it's a great privilege. I wouldn't want to do anything else. Yeah. And um, you know, Emily and I are really happy uh, in South Suffolk. Um, you know, I, I I'm lucky in the sense I go into London at the start of the week. I come back you know, halfway or later down the week, because obviously on the Friday we're in the constituency um, uh, doing stuff like this. I, I checked out some of the stuff online and it's really, what you do is really interesting and you do some great stuff, don't you? You get involved with so many different projects. I was looking for like um, the, the Suffolk Food Hall, Suffolk. Yes. The, the Suffolk so we Food had er, early in Parliament and I was, so I, I was elected 2015 when David Cameron uh, won the general election and um, in my what we call intake, I, the group of MPs elected in that election, I was the first one to have a food event. Right, so okay. there's a room called the Jubilee Room, which is um, a, a communal room in Parliament, and I basically, you don't hire it out, because as an MP you get used to you take it in turns with it. So I, I had the use of that room, and we called it the South Suffolk Food Day. Oh, right, okay. uh, and it was really successful. We had Jimmy's Farm, yeah. we had Hadley made chocolate. Right. Good. We had um, uh, we had the, the sort of the local tourism organisations promoting it. Um, we had, of course, Gifford's Hall Vineyard, oh, right. which okay. is wine made in South Suffolk. You know, this is made in Hartis, beautiful wine which you can pick up in like, Waitrose and, and uh, other supermarkets and so on. So just highlighting the, the diversity of food and drink and so on in the area. Right. Okay. And it, I think. It's really popular, isn't it? People like uh, the Auburn Food Festival and all the pop-ups and the, the street food scene. I oh, think if, you, if, you're, if you're a keen foodie yeah. and you like your food, I think it's really interesting to... There's to loads here, and, 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 and lots of other MPs have co copied since yeah. and been Dorset Food Day and all this sort of stuff. Um, but yeah, I, I think it's clear in this area, the sort of the food sector is massive. I mean, food is the biggest manufacturing business in, in the UK, by the way. But if you look at Suffolk, when you've got the likes of Adenham's and Aspel's on the, on the alcohol side and you've got, we've now got our own wines, but then you've got this amazing uh, local produce, um, which obviously comes back to our farming heritage. Um, like we've got locally the red pole meat, you right, know, yes, in yeah, South yeah, Suffolk, yeah. Um, uh, with, which you can pick up in all these fantastic butchers we've got. And then um, just, just, you know, the, the growth of delis 
Yes, you know, exactly. one's opened in Long Melford recently, and and, and you can uh, there's there is a huge interest in that side of things. I think very attractive. People come and stay in our part of the world. They want to know that there are food events and places they can stay and eat that are good quality. And our Friday market in Hadley is great, and uh, Worcester's Bakery, they yeah. come and have a stall there. Their breads are fantastic. Oh, I've had some of that. So yeah. they have... Sourdough. Sourdough, and, sourdough that's yeah, one. And they do a walnut sourdough, yeah. which is really yummy. And the people are queuing on the stall when, they, when they're setting yeah. up in the morning. And I think people love all that, don't they? They, yeah, they love the local, you know, the, the, you know, Andrew's Butchers in here in Hadley is fantastic yeah. as well. People are always amazed at how well everything is presented. I, I think there. the message, for me, the message for Hadley would be, look, this is a classic English market town with a beautiful high street. Um, of course, the two P's are the most, I think, wonderful bits, which is partridges yes. and the partridging. <laughs> the partridging is the fact you've got these beautiful old buildings with these amazing patterns on the outside. It's quite rare to see that, oh, yeah. and in such good, good nick, as it were. And then you've got partridges, which is this quite extraordinary shop, which um, I suppose you'd summarise it as a kind of sort of it's like a DIY heaven, isn't it? Yes. You know, it's got every single screw size and everything. You buy one nut and bolt and one washer. And, it's got these, and I love the fact it's got steps where it says on the side of the step what's up on the step. <laughs> so screws, bolts, and it means if you walk up the steps, that's what they sell. It's like a, it's like a classic traditional oh, shop. Um, but yeah, and lo obviously lots of other shops and things. You can visit good pubs, uh, restaurants. I think in terms of the heritage of the town, I think with Hadley, you've the... You know, that whole square around the church, which is so pretty, right. and the town hall, um, which is, is it like a, you know, if, you, if, if the, one, the one thing that South Suffolk has got that really characterises it for tourism, I think, is the, is those ancient buildings, which you see in Lavender, you see here, and the colours, the oranges, the pinks, the yes. yellows, and that's a, that, that town hall is a classic example. And we can take that for granted, as you said earlier, so easily, can't we? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. suddenly, it was bizarre. I did. Um, we have the town tours that do a town tour every Saturday, and uh, when they were training one of the guides, I went on the town tour. Yeah. And now I've lived in Hadley for five years, but I looked at Hadley from a tourist perspective rather than someone who lives here. Yeah. And the parcheting and all that sort of thing. I was like, oh wow! And I, I stopped yeah. and looked properly rather than just rushing around doing my shopping and the day-to-day -day stuff. Which well, really yeah, and, and there's a lot of art, uh, artistic culture. And obviously, Benton End oh, yes, in Hadley, of course. Um, and yet. You know, within a very short distance, you've got Gainsborough's House in Sudbury, which is birthplace of one of our greatest artists. And yet, the other side of the constituency, you can you know, there's Constable Country and and the site of one of England's most famous paintings, which is the Hayway. Yep. So when we say the Hayway, we don't mean the painting. We mean this is the site location where you can still see, and it looks pretty similar, yeah. uh, Willie Lott's Cottage and everything. So there's there's lots to lots of layers of, of interest. But you know, fundamentally, actually, if you were going to say what's the most the best thing is, if you're particularly if you're in London or you know one of the big cities uh, that's not too far from here, and we're we're less than an hour from Colchester to London, um, you can come here for a weekend or you know, for a visit, and it's just more relaxing. The people are friendly, and there's you know great food and and places to stay. And that, what more could you ask for? Really? So, with the children, obviously, if you've got a weekend where you're not working, which is probably rare, where, where would you go with the, with the kids? What would you do? Um, particularly like, well we're very lucky, we, we, where we live, we live right near a forest called the Thicks, okay. and we often just go in there and just, you know, just let them walk, go wild as it were. You got a dog? We don't have a no? dog. <laughs> you need a dog, James. There, uh, there, <laughs> there, there is some lobbying on that front. Um, <laughs> but um, bikes obviously. Yeah, okay, lovely. So the twins who just started primary school, they have balanced bikes. Right. And then the other two who are older, they've, they've got, you know, they're getting into confidence of getting, mm. being able to cycle on the road, which, you know, we're being very cautious on, obviously. But, um, yeah, I, I love cycling. And I think that's the other thing. You know, there's lots of interest in cycling around here. We've got the Hadley oh, yeah. Cycle Club, Boxford. Um, and I and Autumn Water's great. You can hire the bikes there and do the loop and, yeah. and have some lunch there. And that's a really great day out. Oh, yeah, and because you can... You can cycle around here, and although if the serious cyclists do go on the main roads, you don't have to. No. There's enough back country roads, particularly got mountain bikes, something like I have, where you can you can 
see so many beautiful unspoiled bits. Well, if you go from you down to Bewers and yep. down, that, it's just stunning, so, isn't it? The so marsh and all I that. I mean, I, that, uh, Bewers is how I go to so, so when I go into London, I cycle to Bewers oh, and right, get the okay. train from there. And, that's a, and then the lap round past Argoth End is really nice. The other one I do is to avoid the A134, which is a really busy road, go down Assington Lane, down round the back of Boxford. Boxford's a lovely right, village. Yeah. Um, not too far from here, down into Kersey. Right. Um, which I think must be one of our Oh, yes. so beautiful with and Spanish so near to here, yeah. you know. So, so you could you could use Hadley as a base to go to Lavenham, Hadley, uh, sorry, Lavenham, Long, Mel Lel Long Melford, and Kersey, yeah. etc., and, and see all these uh, pretty villages. And the, but the churches are. I don't. Amazing. I think there's, there's never any shortage of things to do yeah. here, and, and whether you want to go around the churches, or you want to do yep. history, or you want to walk, or you want to go to a great pub for lunch, you know, you've got that choice, which I think is yeah. what's so unique about the area. And as you say, it's you know, it, it is accessible as well, which is lovely. Yeah, it is. I mean, I don't know, obviously, uh, we don't have a horse, right. but I mean, in this part of the world, lots of people uh, yeah. do equestrian things, and um, uh, there's plenty of opportunity for that. Um, I don't, you know, the towns do have uh, stuff for younger people. They're, we've got a, two good leisure centres, um, yeah. and uh, but I think it's just getting out. Yeah, it's just the fact you can get out into the open countryside. And, and of course, we're not far from the coast. We had some guests that stayed with us this week that um, went off to Felixstowe, yeah. and then they got the ferry from Felixstowe to Harwich, and they just had a great day out, yeah, yeah, yeah. like a little mini adventure on whilst they were on holiday, and they well, just were blown away by it. No, well, I mean, look, the, you know, you've got the peninsula. Yeah. Um, which is actually part of this constituency, which is really um, starting to, you know, push. I mean, in Shotley they're going to develop the pier so that they have a better tourism offer. When you think that they're just over from Harwich, you've got the Orwell, that whole experience there, which is, you know, and particularly down at Pin Mill, yes. where you've got the connection with um, swallows and Amazons and all this sort of stuff. But Noyster. Go for a pint. But most of it isn't, yeah. <laughs> uh, I know my pubs. pubs. I work my, my work my routine by my pubs. So would you come into Hadley to eat at all? Would you? Oh yeah, we yeah? have done yeah? many times. Okay. Yeah. Um, Do you have a favourite place that you eat in Hadley? Or MPs don't have favourite places. Oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> MPs have many places that they like um, and want them all to succeed. You know? um, but there, no, there's you know there's lot there's lots of there's lots of good places. Um, uh, I think you know all of the main pubs in this. We're very lucky. Town, yeah, have pretty absolutely. good food. Yeah, um, and There's something uh, for everybody, which yeah. is great. And of course, the, um, that the Jetlands, the new cafe that opened up, or you know, if you if you just want to have a coffee and sandwich, yeah, yeah. you can do that too, which is really good. Yeah. Um, and obviously, if you want to go a bit more upmarket, you've got the Marquis and things like yeah, that. Yeah, we've well. eaten the Marquis recently, which, which is really good. Yeah. Um, the Ram. Yeah. Yeah. All, all pretty good yeah. stuff. Really. I think Lorna and her team at the Ram working really well with Lavenham and Melford and. and yeah, and they've opened the deli. Yeah, of which course. Yeah, did, which yeah, we, but which I think this goes back to the point about the food and the sort of you know the draw of um, people having more sophisticated shopping. Yes, I mean you know there has to be diversity and, and you know one of the complaints I get is well I go into the towns and they're all charity shops and so well actually you know I think that's not it's not as simple as that there there has to be some mix of uh, of shopping. Uh, I know, but it you can't see, all be high end. Yeah, yeah. But, but you see, my guests, they that come and stay here and, uh, and visit Hadley, they love the charity shops. Yeah. One of the first things they'll do is go around the charity shops because really? we're in a lovely town. The stuff in the charity shops yeah. is pretty high end, or yeah. you know, good quality stuff. And of course, they love a little bit of a route around. Um, and then you've got like the thrift shop, which puts all that money that they make, or a high percentage of that money they make, back into the local community as well, to mm -hmm. local charities, which is fantastic. But I think, you know, in Hadley, the th all the little charity shops are, are, are really great for the town. And th some of them are, well, all of them, but they run really well. They're spotlessly clean, and the staff yeah, are I mean, giving look, up their free time. Right. You, you need a range. You've got a really good um, men's clothes shop now yes. on, uh, on the high street. You've got the other thing I come to Hadley for. Which is uh, my hair. All right. Okay. I, it's uh, my hairdresser down there. Yeah. Uh, but um, obviously, lots of good hairdressers oh, in yeah. the constituency. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but but um, you know, the, the the thing is, it's it, you're right. It's fundamentally, it's a nice place to yeah. come. Um, and there's there's yeah a lot of good places. And I think that you know, but you know, back the big issue of the day really, and it's had a lot of interest over the summer. This talk about Amazon and. The, the sort of what's happening to the, tradi the, tradi mm, yeah. the traditional economy, Absolutely. high street stuff. Well, uh, no matter what we do as a government, no matter what any government does, if people don't use them, there won't be a high street. 
um, the bank has closed here in Hadley. And actually, I mean, I haven't had any further correspondence on it. I'm sure I, I met with businesses with the branch of Barclays. Um, and actually, it was we had a visit from the post office, and they explained that you could do all those things, the post office paying in checks and even sorting out change and stuff like that. So, you know, you can adapt. Yeah, and I um, think we have to learn to adapt, don't we? And I think... It, and, I, and I know that is tricky, but that's the, the way that it is, isn't it? And but we are lucky; we don't have any empty shops on Hadley High Street at the moment, right. you know. And it is a—they're all independents as well, you know. We're not fooled with. And you've had new ones opening. Yeah, absolutely, and yeah. and still people that want to come into town and with business ideas as well, which is really encouraging. And the market, you know, has have developed, and yeah. not only every Friday market, but the, the vintage market once a month as well is a really and it's great free thing. parking. Yeah, absolutely free parking, which is really great. So from a um, I think you're also involved with the RSPB, is that right? So you yes oh, yes. So do you uh, do you, so not only with the food interest, but wildlife and that, is that a is that an interest or is it just yeah? Well, coming? so Wolveswood is just up the road. Yes, from well, that's what uh, I was thinking. We we had a visit there um, and have had a lot of involvement with the RSPB because I think that they. Uh, I mean, partly just interest. I think you know it's, it, the bird, you know. The bird population like is fascinating. Bird mugs exactly, <laughs> um, and um, in particular, they, they very they made me an owl box. Right. So okay. I was talking about the fact I had a bird box in my uh, in my back garden. How would I attract owls? So they made me one, and I didn't really. I mean, this was massive. An owl box is They're huge, aren't they? Big a frame things. Oh, absolutely massive. Um, and it, it would have. It wouldn't. It wouldn't have gone around my tree. The girls were so <laughs> huge, right? So, so we're like. And what are we going to do with it? And in the end, we donated it to Bentley Primary School oh, right, because okay. they have these big oaks in their... They back onto open countryside and have these big oaks looking out over it. It's perfect. Um, in fact, I need to go back and find out if they've had successful yes. um, occupation, as it were. Owl take up. It must be well, it goes on right move. <laughs> Owls have a version of right move and it goes on there. And <laughs> 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 I'll listen to that. would be quite popular then in Bentley, I would have thought. Yeah, yeah, yeah I mean... The, the only day you can get jackdaws who try and get in there first, as it were. Yeah. Okay. But um, you know, owls are very special, and, and I think the wildlife is very. I mean, you, you mentioned the birds, but also, I mean, my, one of my favourites is hares. Right. This nice. part of the world has a lot of hares, um, and if you go cycling on those back streets, uh, well, the back country lanes, as it were, you do see a lot of hares, and they're incredibly beautiful. Oh. I'm a, I run, so when I yep. run from here and I run out to Holstead and Stoke by Nayland and do my loop, I'm just blown away by it. It's just so beautiful. Yep. I don't see a car, I don't see another person, and just, you know, if, if, I, if I see some deer or a, a fox or the hares, it's well, just there's, I, beautiful. Yeah, so that I was saying, when I come out of Assington, there's, there's, a, there's an old road called Assington Lane which takes you down to, um, ultimately, to Boxford. Right. And um, that always has hares on. Right. So you can sort of—it's it's like you can almost bank on it. Yeah, um, yeah you know, it's it, it, in, in a rural area. You want to—you sh- you've got to appreciate what nature has to offer locally. And I think that's what the, my guests staying in Hadley or people that come to Hadley—you've got this lovely eclectic high street. Yep. But within minutes, you go over Toppersville Bridge and you yeah. can just walk and you're in the middle of the countryside. It's that great juxtaposition. Well, I've got, and, that, and what happens there once a year, of course, is the Hadley Show, which oh, is great. really the highlight of the know. year here. And that is a fantastic country show. This year, the Hadley Show was on the same day as the Royal Wedding, of course. Right, of course, yes. Uh, and some of us had to make that choice. I went to the Hadley Show. Um, you a lot of you went to the Royal Wedding there for oh, a moment. No, no, no. <laughs> Absolutely. You know. I respect the fact a lot of people wa- watched it and found it interesting. For me, oh. Hadley Show with the children oh, it's wins hand down. Have a better day out, could you? It's just such a lovely thing. And to it was do. a beautiful day. I mean, oh, it was yeah. a really hot, sunny day. Uh, very good summer. The cows and just oh, it's just lovely, isn't it? Yeah. You, well, you know, you can see the um, so you have all the livestock. So you have what's good about the countryside, but you also have lots of good stalls, and obviously the children just want to go on the on the rides yeah. and so on. Um, that's a good day out. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I don't. Well, thank you, James, so much for taking time out of your busy schedules today. That's right. It's nice to find out, you know, you're a real fan of Hadley and Suffolk as well. And cake. And, ca- and cake. Tea and cake can't go far wrong there. Um, so, you know, as I say, I can't thank you enough. Um, no, you're it's really great. We really want to make sure that we have a different aspects of the YouTube channel. And it's I, I, I think the key thing is that you're, you're someone who has a tourism business in Hadley. 
and we, you know, it's a it's a key political priority to support the local economy by encouraging tourism, yeah. and um, sustainably, and in such a way that, you know, we, we will never be the sort of area which is inundated with tourists and and so on. Um, but if you get those extra visitors and the extra footfall, that can keep our high street going, which actually makes us a pleasant place to live. Exactly, and that's the whole thing, isn't it? I mean, that's what we're really keen to show that whether you live here or you're visiting, yeah, yeah. you know, it's an absolute joy. So, James, thank you very much. You're welcome. Cheers. Okay, bye now.